Edition of Empowerment coming at you. Whether it is on the track, practicing, or in a race, our next guest has a need for speed. She's known for being the first Canadian woman to win NASCAR-sanctioned race in the United States. Professional race car driver Amber Balkin joins us in studio this morning. Welcome to Breakfast Television. Thank you for having me. It's great to be back in Canada. Oh, we're in Canadian red. We <laughs> yes, love it. Absolutely. <laughs> it's wonderful to, be, to have you here today, uh, but also to have you a part of a, a big event that we're really excited about tomorrow with our very own Stephanie Henry. Tell me about that. Yeah, really excited to be here for the She Auto Know Car Clinic. It's all about empowering and educating women in the automotive industry. And I mean, she could not have picked a better person <laughs> to have chat with on that. Uh, we're really looking forward to it. I know it's it's very much almost sold out, Steph. Or we all, I don't know if there's a lot of tickets left, but we will put uh, the, the, the link right now if you want to come check it out tomorrow. I know I'm going to be there. Tam's going to be there. Of course, our very own Stephanie Henry. And yes, Amber Balkin. So that's, uh, that's going to be a great day. Let's talk about your career because it is one that has set a path for so many to follow in your footsteps. What, what has it been like to be a part of this very male-dominated world? Yeah, it's been a journey, that's for sure. You know, racing cars is really fun, but it's also a lot harder than most people expect. There's a lot to it as far as um, training and the heat and the length of the races, the physical ability, and also the cognitive functions that go along with it as well. And being the only Canadian female in NASCAR and the only Canadian woman to win a NASCAR race in the U.S., I mean, what... When I say those words, those titles, what, what does that mean to you? Yeah, it makes me feel honored and proud to be able to carry the Canadian flag on my race suit, on my car, and um, really represent our country in the U.S. And, you know, we're seeing some, some footage now. We, we might be familiar with watching this kind of footage, but most of us has absolutely no idea what it takes to actually do it. So what, what is being a race car driver like? What's your life like? What's your training like? Yeah, it's a lot of fun, but it's really difficult. Like I said, we have so many different things that we have to train from cognitive functions to heat training. We act, the cars get up to over 60 degrees Celsius or 140 degrees Fahrenheit. So I'll lose about five pounds in a race and we're in these in cars one race? in one race. Oh my uh, gosh. And we're in these cars for hours on end, communicating with our crew and being centimeters away from other cars at 190 mile an hour, or th over 300 kilometers an hour. So it's intense, uh, but <laughs> yeah. it's really fun. <laughs> and whenever you are sort of the first, the only in a male dominated industry like there there has been uh, a lot of work for you what has that been like a lot of funding that you've had to source on your own yeah absolutely I've had to overcome a lot of adversity both trying to find the sponsorship to be be in this sport moving down to the US and it's really taken a lot of mental toughness and grit and fortitude um, those are skills that you have to build and, and it requires a lot of discipline so I've had to get had to be work really hard and become really disciplined. And you've really overcome a lot as well because in 2020, I mean, you suffered a really serious accident, uh, a severe concussion, collapsed lungs, several burns, and now here you are four years later. Mm -hmm. I mean, uh, stunning and stunning <laughs> on the track as well. What, why you. did you want to get back to it? I think I've always felt a responsibility to be that in inspirational figure and role model to not only girls, but just people in general who have a really big, crazy dream that seems scary to a lot of people. I just think it's really important if you have a vision for your life and for yourself to go after it, no matter how crazy or scary it may seem. I've always really believed in my potential and I really wanted to see that through and um, be successful and be proud of myself. Yeah, well, you're proof that it's possible. Thank and you. We, we're so appreciative of that. What's coming up uh, for you this year? Yeah, so I get to race a full season in NASCAR's Arca Menard Series. Wow. Um, I race a Toyota Camry for Venturini Motorsports and Icon Direct. So my primary sponsor is actually Canadian as well. Yeah, we so love that. it's red and white. We have the red and white branding all over the car, and that's why I'm in red today, nice. representing Canada. Yeah. So I'm um, really excited and going to try to make more history this year. Yes, her story. <laughs> You're going to do it. Uh, we're so happy to have you here. Where can people find out more info about you? They can follow me on Instagram, Twitter, TikTok at Amber Balkan 10. And also my website, Amber Balkan Racing, has some really cool t-shirts on there if you guys want to support. Yeah, we and, do. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, we do. And of course, we're excited to see you tomorrow. 